Hello, happy November 3rd, 2015. Jason Lash here making uh, the monthly video update. Uh, check in with everybody. I hope everybody had a great Halloween. Obviously, it was rainy and cold and windy, but um, uh, I know my kids got wet and cold, but uh, I, hopefully uh, hopefully all the children out there scored big uh, as, as far as candy. Uh, right now, we're having a beautiful start to November. I'm looking outside right now. The sun is shining. 70s uh, early November is great. We'll obviously take that weather. Uh, usually, when I do these monthly videos, I talk about active listings, new listings that we received in the last month here. And we did get a lot of listings in here last month, but we are having a problem right now in both the Grand Rapids, the Lakeshore, and Kalamazoo market where people are taking their homes off the market. So I thought I'd do something different this month. Instead of talking about new listings, let's talk about active buyers that my team has. And this is just going to be a few of them because we do have a lot of buyers. And um, if you have a house or if you know somebody who has a house in this market, please give me a call as soon as possible because either I have somebody, somebody on my team or, or agents in my office I've been talking to. And this is just a, a small sample of what we're working with. Right now, i got buyers looking in Alger Heights. Under $120,000 in Alger Heights in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Frankly, anywhere under $120,000 uh, should be selling pretty quickly right now. But anything in Alger Heights in particular, we do have a high demand there. Waterfront property anywhere in Kent County, um, in particular up in northern Kent County in the Rockford, Cedar Springs area. Uh, also, we have demand on Gun Lake, um, anywhere between about three hundred to six hundred thousand dollars right now with any waterfront properties. And I'm going to include uh, the rivers, uh, Thorn Apple Grand River, um, any waterfront properties, Kent County, or if you want to go down to Wayland and Gun Lake, we do have demand for that right now. Condos in Rockford or northern Kent County, anywhere from about two to four hundred thousand dollars. We got a couple condo buyers in the Kalamazoo market we're looking for acreage we have buyers that are looking for acreage or waterfront properties also in Kalamazoo any condos under $150,000 we do have demand for that back in Kent County Bailey's Grove under 200,000 Bailey's Grove has been really busy I listed a home in Bailey's Grove last month sold it within a couple days we do still have demand in Bailey's Grove I'm still actually getting calls on that listing so anybody who's got a home I know of anybody in Bailey's Grove under 200,000 uh, downtown Grand Rapids condos, that condo market in Grand Rapids is really booming right now. Uh, if, uh, I would love to know of anybody who's thinking of selling their condo, even if it's next year, let me know about it. Uh, Forest Hills back in Grand Rapids, under $350,000, the Forest Hills School Districts. Luxury homes on the lake shore and luxury homes in Kent and Kalamazoo uh, counties, we do have buyers for that stuff. So if anybody knows of any luxury home sellers, and, and luxury home will be your market, kind of the top of the price points. And also Cedar Springs seems to be real busy for us. Cedar Springs schools, we got a couple buyers. Um, everybody's under $200,000, but if you know of anybody in Cedar Springs schools, under 200, under 150, uh, I would like to know about those homes ASAP. Um, talk about uh, the market here again. It's, it's still real strong. Uh, we I personally, I have not seen much of a slowdown, even though the season uh, it normally does slow down. Uh, maybe we might be slowing down um, typically as going into Thanksgiving um, and into the holiday season. But right now, we're still real busy out there. Uh, we do still sell homes in December. Obviously, it's not going to be the busiest month of the year, but there are still buyers entering the market in the winter time. So don't be discouraged to sell your home in the winter. I always tell people, you know, the great thing about selling in the winter time here is you don't get a lot of showings. It's not as busy. You don't have to keep leaving the house uh, for showings. Um, also, you tend to get better buyers because people who move in the winter are usually people that have to move. These are people who relocated to the area. Uh, so you tend to get better buyers, but they're not as many buyers. Um, you don't get as much competition. So you, there's a good chance you can sell your home. And if it sells, it sells for more money. Uh, so please don't be discouraged at all uh, for selling your home in the winter season. If you're taking your, all, your house off the market, I would strongly, strongly urge you to reconsider putting it back on the market, even if it's just, um, you know, for, for, uh, for the holiday season, because like I said, you might not get a showing. It's not going to be as busy as it was in the spring season. But if you get one or two buyers coming through the market that time of year, at this time of year, uh, it, it's usually a good sign. So again, all my contact information is on here. If anybody is looking for a free home value, if anybody was wondering how much their house is worth, please Please reach out to me on my website. I'm happy to give anybody out there a free market analysis. Just give, keep in loop as to what's going on around your property. Uh, thanks again. Let's make it a great month. Take care.